What's up guys, how's it going? This is some guy, and today I'll be giving my opinion on uh, Magic, the new track from uh, Saka or Little Buddha, featuring A8 Savage God. Um, before we get into this, I just want to quickly shout out uh, uh, Shankarki 8178 for uh, pointing this out to me. Apologies, it's taken a couple of weeks for me to get to it, but I'm here. But yeah, relatively new from uh, Little Buddha, uh, and it's been a while since I did any nepal reactions at all so i'm keen to um yeah get back into it so let's jump in Okay, wasn't expecting this, but in interesting. So I'm get this is well actually before I interrupt it too much, let's just jump in. But yeah, this is giving me it's obviously going through like a retro kind of vibe, but I'm intrigued. Love is magic forever, forever, forever. Your love is magic forever. For anyone new to the channel, I first heard Little Buddha on King of Netpop. So, and obviously I've heard more tracks since then, but you can imagine it's quite surprising for me to hear him do a song like this, I would say, so far. But that's not a criticism. I mean, I'm always keen for artists to demonstrate versatility, and yeah, if this is good, it certainly is that. Your love is matchy forever, forever, forever. Oh, I'll be real. I like the intro, but this hook, I'm personally finding a little bit annoying right now. But I'll uh, I'll let it ride for a bit. Shawty, give me your heart. Ready for your love, give me, give me your call. Ready for your love, zoom in in your draw. Shawty, make me wanna do the shimmy, shimmy, ya, ya. So I shimmy, shimmy, ya. The shimmy shimmy ya reference I like. Alright, so far, I've got to be honest, this isn't hitting me. Um, it's definitely not. Like, I've definitely heard because first of all, I respect Little Buddha massively. I know he's an incredible lyricist and rapper, um, and sometimes I find it odd when rappers of that caliber jump onto probably what's meant to be more of a commercial track and simplify the lyrics so much that it almost doesn't even sound like them anymore. Um, I mean, you could argue that this kind of track it suits simpler lyrics, and you know. Fair enough, it's probably a case of opinion. But for me, it's a bit of a shame to hear someone as good as Little Buddha give what sounded like pretty basic bars. Um, maybe that's unfair. Let me know if you disagree. Um, but I have heard rappers sort of jump onto more commercial tracks who are more lyrical and still give bars. I mean, it doesn't have to be like super lyric complex, you know, double entendres everywhere, but like you can still be a bit clever with it. Um, but yeah, I'll I might be being unfair. Let's just go back a bit and uh try and be open minded still. I'm in the you and no I can't stop. I got a plan to get you fucked up. I got a plan to come around. So see you when I'm Your back in town. Love is matching. Forever. 
This bit I like. This bit's kind of catchy and repetitive, but in a good way. It was just that um, other bit. Your love is matchy. Forever. It's a vibe. Forever. 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 It's just this bit. For me, it sounds like a record skipping. And now I've got that in my head. It's, yeah, a little bit annoying. But anyway. Forever. 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 Yeah, I come around. Right now the world is spinning round. Right now I'm busy making rounds. Capture the time and make your sounds. Try to see what I mean. Like he could, he just rhymed, rhymed round essentially three times, and it's hard because. There's no rules to this stuff. Like I've heard rappers do what are objectively very simple lyrics and it sounds really good and it suits a song. At the moment, it, um, for me, it's not hitting. Ever, ever, ever. Yeah, I come around. Right now the world is spinning round. Right now I'm busy making rounds. Capture the time and make your sounds. Try to take me down. Wait for the moment, stay for now. Wait for my core to take you out. I just want you away for now. I ain't scared of racing my brows. I ain't looking to make my dad proud. Let loser race the vibe now. 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 There's too much going on for me. Um, yeah. I mean, like, okay, if, if, I, if I go back. I'm looking to make my dad proud. Let loser race the vibe now. I like the vibe. So, like, if I forget it's Little Buddha and I just pretend it's some guy, I could maybe get on board with the song from a rap perspective because I'm not seeing him as a rapper. Okay, fine. So maybe it's kind of fitting in. Let loser race the vibe now. Yes. Let loser race the vibe now. Let loser race the vibe now. Let loser all over the place today. But yeah, that's it. So yeah, first of all, I wanted to say that I always respect artists are pushing boundaries i kind of said that earlier i want to emphasize that again because whilst i really respect that and i and i still do when artists push boundaries it's almost inevitable that for certain people when they do that it's not going to be it's not going to hit it's not going to be their thing so i understand that and you know i don't uh think any less a little buddha because i personally didn't really like the song that much i still like massively respect him as an artist and that, that he sort of trying new things um it's probably just a, a, a case of what you like, what you don't. Um, I think it's a shame that he didn't make it a little bit more lyrically clever or slick. Because um, to me, it was almost so basic that I felt like I could have written some of those lines. And I'm I'm not a rapper. I've never tried to rap. But, you know, he said, like, I'm coming around. He, yeah, it was three lines in a row coming around. Let's go back. Forever. Spinning round, come around. Right now the world is spinning round. Right now I'm busy making rounds. Yeah, I come round. Right now the world's spinning round. I'm busy making rounds. Like, um, yeah. But I probably went in expecting a little bit of the rapper. If I pretend he's someone else, I think, like musically, that bit sounded quite nice. But unfortunately, yeah, part of that hook when it kind of breaks down into what I described as being like a record broken. That also means it hasn't got much replay factor for me. So I think there were pieces there that were cool. I I like the different sound, the kind of retro synth vibe. And I think it could have been something that I liked if it hadn't been as annoying to my ears and if Little Buddha had had written his lyrics in a different style. Anyway, yeah. Let me know if you disagree. 
Um, just want to emphasize again, nothing but love for Little Buddha and for the Nepal rap scene. Um, and it's really good to, really cool to see them um, try new things. I would be interested to know if this was intended to be commercially successful, and if so, has it been in Nepal? Um, because you know, if so, then maybe it's been a success. If that was the aim to make it sort of popular, like radio song, and it has been, then fair enough. Um, and yeah, I'd be very interested to know if anyone disagrees with me. Have I have I missed the point here? Um, yeah, let me know. Uh, either way, thanks for the recommendation. Uh, I've got plenty more to get on with from uh, artists from the pool. Uh, especially, I want to get onto some of Nasty's older stuff, his older uh, albums. Um, so yeah, keep the recommendations coming. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. Really appreciate that. Otherwise, I'm out.